Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, founder and creator of Selector Stuff. In this tutorial, I will show you quickly what are the features which are there in free version and what are new advanced feature in pro version. So let's see quickly. Here, this is the, uh, of course, the pro version, the new version. So I will take a like side by side both the comparison tables and I will show you that what's there in new pro version versus what's there in already free version. So the very first thing is that in the new pro version, the absolutely new and advanced UI, which is more user friendly and more advanced and very lightweight. So let me show you how it is going to help you to make a difference when you are working with the pro version and with the free version. So here, uh, here I will show you the free version, which I'm sure you all have seen and already using it. So this is the free version. Let me just zoom in. So this is how it used to open. But here, if you notice that lots of things are there, but uh, like edit icon, many are not able to understand how to edit this value. Then here, uh, lots of uh, features are there, more advanced feature, but they have never been explored by many people uh, due to the fact that uh, because they were not very obvious, many people were not even if, ever if explore these, even they didn't notice that. But this thing has been taken care in advanced version in the pro version. Like now if I open pro version here, so you will see that this is the absolutely new UI, very advanced, which will help you to see each and everything very obvious and very user friendly. So you have the edit icon here. You have all these uh, feature here up front. So now you can easily understand, okay, there is an attribute filter. You can generate the code. There is, you can generate the page object, locator model, locator page, then maintenance. There is a smart maintenance feature. You can customize the UI. So a lot more obvious thing and very lightweight, very good advanced UI. So that's the uh, very first feature, uh, the new thing. Feature to copy, edit, and delete option for saved value. So if you see that you have a feature here, like, uh, one second, let me close this. So uh, we have a feature here in the free version that we can save any value. Like if you want to suppose you are writing any X path here. Okay, so we can save these value like we have. We can save these value and they, these value used to get saved here. Let me save some more value. Like if I edit this one here, enter, save. So we have saved few values. So now you, here you see that if suppose you want to copy this value, so we cannot, we don't have that copy option. And suppose you have saved like let's say 10 or 5, 10 values and you want to delete some particular value, that option you don't have here. You have that directly delete all option. So now in advanced version, we have this in pro version, we have this feature that if you save some value, like two values are already saved, so I have saved it. So suppose I want to uh, like copy this value, I can just simply click copy icon on this one. Or if I want to copy this one, if I want to edit this, this, or if I want to delete any particular value, I can just click on delete and that value will be deleted here from here. So this way we have that option that we can uh, save any particular value, delete, add it, or whatever we want to do. So that flexibility is there now. Then feature to generate selectors without attribute. Great. So this is really good feature. Like today in selectors hub free version, we have this feature that you can generate X path or selector with particular attribute. Like if I inspect this element and suppose I want to generate with name. So we can enter the name attribute here and it is generating with name. But what if we don't want to generate with name? What if like we don't want to generate X path or selectors with some particular attribute? So in that case, we were not having any, uh, we were not having that feature. Shortcut was there, but that was only for uh, like some particular attribute. What if like there are more attribute? Like, so in that case, how you can do that? So now in pro version, we have this option here, click on attribute. You have these both these options like by default it is uh, like I have oh, sorry earlier I have tested this one so so now here you see that you have this option you can generate with name it will generate with name 
or if you don't want to generate with that particular attribute or any particular attribute you just pass that name here and it will not generate x path with that particular attribute so this is going to be like it is generating with role but you don't want with role so you can enter the role here and hit enter it will not not generate x path with or css selector with that particular attribute so you have that option now so this is how this attribute filter is going to help you guys that now you have the feature to generate selectors without attribute in pro version auto generated playwright selectors this is really incredible feature for all the playwright users like today with the free version we were able to in the free version we are able to verify the playwright selectors so in fact like in free version itself it is being done that you need not to uh, like uh, because uh, like first let me tell you that what people do in uh, if they have to verify one playwright selector they used to run the code they open the playwright window then they go to console then they type playwright like this they used to, they have to go to console and then there they type playwright and then they <coughs> there they have to verify like this lot many steps are there but in the free version we have made it possible you just paste your playwright selector so let me get some playwright selector so you just play, paste the playwright selector and you would be able to verify that in selector so that has been made possible but what if you want the auto generated playwright selector so now in pro version you have this option that you can generate you will get auto generated playwright selector so here you see see that you just inspect any element and you will get this playwright selector auto generated so this is going to really huge time saver feature for all the playwright users that you will get the playwright selector auto generated from selector sub moving on so these are some really incredible features but these are not that advanced what you are looking for in pro version so of course we have more and those are like really really incredible time saver features advanced search and advanced auto generation of selectors so you see that today when you verify like let me first show you in the free version so today suppose we are verifying double forward slash a here now 81 elements are matching so here if i want to get the x path of like let's say fifth anchor tag or i want the x path for this element i cannot get that directly i will have to like inspect that element or do some research that which one is the fifth element right and here like looking at this what if like i want the x path for this particular element i cannot get that auto generated like from here right so this feature has been done in pro like very well and this is you will love it like suppose double forward slash a i'm doing here now 81 matching nodes are showing here suppose i want for the fifth one so what i will do here you just see that here one two this uh, from x path attribute you will get to know which occurrence it is so this is the fifth one we want to generate x path for this fifth one you just select this and it will generate the x path for this fifth element here it is you want for anything else like any element you want to generate x path here you just have to like click on that particular node here and it will generate the x path here for that particular element and it will show you that here that it is for third element third matching node out of 81 also how this advanced search is going to work you see that double forward slash a 81 matching it is showing zero out, out of 81 now you want to go one by one so there are chances that right now in the dom that element is not showing the first one so you click here it will show you the very first matching node it will scroll the dom as well as it will show you auto generated x path for the first element matching x path and all possible selectors so basically now you can traverse back and forth back and forward for your matching nodes and you will be getting that particular node here you will be seeing here and you will be getting auto generated selector so you see that now if i click next next so you will observe that the dom is scrolling x path selectors are automatically generating you are getting to know that okay now this is the fourth anchor tag in the dom from top and these are the selectors for them so this is really really helpful feature yes of course like initially if you are not working too much with the dom that's where you might not get to know about the importance of this but when you will be working a lot in your uh, web automation script and you will be playing around 
the DOM, then you will really, really love this feature. This is really incredible. Then advanced context menu feature. This is really amazing. So you see that today we have a feature in free version <coughs> that you can right click here anywhere. Like suppose you want to copy any X path, you just right click and you get the copy option. <coughs> suppose you have any drop down, you just right click, you can copy the X path value and select this value. But the problem here is that we are not able to see that what X path we have copied until unless we paste that value. What if like it shows you offhand that, okay, this is the X path for this element. Then you will be getting to know, okay, now right there itself, you are able to see that what is the X path for this particular element. And then it will be good. Like you will not be making any mistake. Let me show you how, and uh, then I will show you what is the importance of here, this feature. Now, suppose we want to get X path for this one. So you right click here move your mouse and you will see that you will be getting the auto generated x path and selectors for that particular element so this way you would be able to like you just right click move your mouse and you will see the selectors generated here so this way it will be like you will be seeing the value right there you just have to right click <coughs> sorry you just have to right click move your mouse and you will be able to see the value here for uh, for that particular element so now before copying the value, you will be knowing that, okay, what is the value of that particular X path and selectors here from the context menu itself before copying. So you will not be making any mistakes because what happens sometimes you used to right click here somewhere, any corner element. So you wanted to copy X path for some other element while by mistake you have copied for something else. So in that case, this feature is going to help you a lot before copying the value. You will be knowing that what is that value. But we still have more. This is not just done yet. The groundbreaking and the like so stopper feature is the new feature which we are introducing the selectors hub inspector. This is really incredible. I will show you what is the importance of this feature and how this is going to help you guys a lot. So today if you see that suppose uh, we have to inspect there are like a couple of problems which this inspector will solve like if i have to inspect this element i will either i have to right click and then click on inspect right if i have to inspect this element then i will have to do this two three steps or like we can click on this inspector and then i can inspect now if i want to see the dom of this again i will have to click on this dom inspector and then click on this so this is one type like inspecting element we are wasting because again and again we have to click on this uh, dom inspector and every time it used to get disabled in selectors hub now so that was one problem in selectors hub we were we have this feature that you can auto generate x path for multiple elements selectors for multiple elements in one go but they're also like you have to inspect one by one click on inspector button, go back, again, click back. So you see that back and forth, we are wasting a lot of time. This is second problem. Third one, you see that we have this access based X path generation in free version. So here you can generate the relative X path relative to other elements. So here, if we have to generate, let's say for courses with respect to pro plans. So first we will have to inspect this courses or First, we will have to inspect pro plans because we are we want to generate for courses. So first we'll inspect this and then we can inspect this courses. So here you see that we had to do like four or five steps, which is again time killing. But no, not anymore. Can there be something which can like inspect in one go everything? Yes, that is possible now. So in you selector sub pro version, you will see that feature. We have the inspector now. So you see that there is an inspect button here, click on this and this is really incredible. Now you see that whichever element you want to inspect, you just inspect it here. You need not to back and forth, you need not to click. Click to inspector of dev tools. You just keep on scrolling and inspect the element. So one problem is solved. Second problem, now you see that. And whenever you want to uh, like disable, you need not to come back and click here. 
right there just right click and it will be disabled now suppose you want to generate locator page or multiple x path or multiple elements just click here and select the inspector and boom you see the magic now in one go we are able to generate selectors and elements for multiple elements just in one go without any failure so how easy it is now and here you go you see that all selectors everything is generated and of course those features are there that you can generate the code and all so this is so so fast so second problem is resolved what if you want to generate the access based x path so here you go and now suppose we want for courses with respect to plants so first you inspect plants and then inspect courses so you see that now we have generated x path for this so you need not to like now you will not have to waste time in like clicking back and forth on inspector this is like really really incredible feature of selectors hub pro version and this this will help you guys a lot so this is really incredible enjoy this feature you will love this and lot more features will be keep coming in selectors hub pro this is just beginning and uh, yes of course like this is very initial release so there could be minor uh, uh, things here and there but very soon it will be very stable it is already very stable very optimized algorithm inside like generating the x pass selectors making it too too light and everything has been taken care of a lot so yeah this is selectors of pro i'm sure you guys will love this one and uh, pricing this is almost free it is actually like almost free only because the pricing is so less for india it is just 50 rupees per month just 50 rupees per month imagine like not even 2 rupees per day and for outside india just 1 dollar per month so it is just nothing i mean anybody can you can consider that this is just a coffee you are you guys are offering for this product so this is just even less than coffee cost so this is almost free and how you guys can start it is very simple just go to selectors of website and here you can see that selectors of pro plans and test case studio so you take this uh, pro plan click on this and you can like whatever i have explained you guys can also read it here everything is mentioned here here i have created a simple tutorial that how you can take this plan and how you can get it started it's very simple so if you are from india you can just uh, select this we have to create it def uh, di uh, means uh, different plans for uh, uh, for currency wise like because in india we cannot accept in dollar because of some government regulation so that's the region otherwise like everything is same for outside india and in, in uh, and for india so no need not to worry you can ch uh, check out and rather than going for the individual plans i would highly recommend that you uh, ask your company encourage your company to take the business plan because that way it will be is very easy and for company it's just peanuts it's just peanuts like one coffee they are, uh, they are getting for whole company in a year so it's so so cheap it is for company and uh, yeah i mean if you want for personal you can take the free trial and see how useful it is and then you can ask your company to take the plan according to their team size so this is how it is going to be very easy you just click here you will get the free trial and you just select any of the plan as per your uh, need and then uh, yeah that's how you can get going from there you can read about more about selector sub pro here in the documentation how you can get started so first you have to add the pro version in your browser and then you take the free plan and that's where you will get the login credential and you will be get going so yeah that's the quick comparison between free version and pro version i hope you like this please uh, like and share and do upgrade to the pro version this will really help you guys a lot and this will help me as well to develop more and more free products selectors of free version will always keep getting the updates supports and everything as always as before so you not to worry guys that if you don't want to upgrade to pro so free version is always free and always you will get the updates and everything just that we have to have uh, the pro version so that like we can support financially all our free products and support the community meetups free boot camps and more support more new free tools like if i'm not sure if you guys have already checked this test case hub this is really incredible new tool new innovation do check out this this is really going to help you guys a lot over the time so this is really incredible uh, new tool so please do check out so these all things are going to help you guys a lot all our products so with that thank you thank you so much please like share and subscribe thank you